All right, now we're doing 8Q, How Good Are You Really? This is by Jotha, 92% of the people like it. There was a test in your class and you passed it. Congratulations. But you're an ambitious person. You want to know if you're better than the average student in your class. You receive an array with your peers' test scores. Now calculate the average and compare your score. Return true if you're better, else false. Note, your points are not included in the array for your class points. For calculating the average point, you may add your point to the given array. Awesome. All right, so on this one, we're going to be using prototype.reduce, and the reduce method executes a user supply reducer callback function on each element of the array in order, passing in the return value from calculation on the preceding element. The final result of running the reducer across all elements of the array is a single value. So basically, perhaps the easiest to understand case for reduce is to return the sum of all elements in an array. So here's an array, array one, one, two, three, four. Uh, we're going to do array dot reduce, previous value, current value, those are the uh, arguments, and then arrow function, uh, previous value plus current value, and then comma, initial value. And it should come out with 10, right? So it's going to be 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. This initial value is, uh, I don't know, 0. Ah, oh, yeah, 0 right here. Uh, so there we go. And then it's going to equal 10. So run it 10, just like that. So that's exactly what we're going to do over here. First, we're going to average it up. We're going to say return. Pardon me. We're going to, go, we're going to say better than average. And then we're going to say equals class points, your points. Um, points, your points. All right. And then we're going to say arrow function. Whoops. We're going to say class points points dot reduce and then we're going to say prev for the previous value comma cur for the current value arrow function uh, and then we're going to say prev plus cur plus cur all right and we don't need any, an initial value because it's just going to use this as the initial value all right and then we're going to divide that by class points dot length all right so it's just uh, it just counts up the number of uh, indexes excuse me elements and then we're gonna say if that's less than your points all right let's see test it out Attempt it. Looks good. All right. Very much like it. And my solutions. There we go. I did this one earlier. But the uh, I didn't like the way the video came out, so I'm just redoing it. Anyway, uh, I'll just put best practice on both of them. How about that? Anyway, and we'll see you next time.